Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a teleport menu inside the Roblox Studio. Uh, yes, yeah, so recently I put out a community post asking if you guys would like to see that. And yeah, four votes six voted yes. Uh, but anyway, I'll be showing you how to do that. So, we first have to make a uh, actual button which allows us to open up the menu. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a text button uh, inside of our um, screen GUI. Uh, text button we're gonna place this off to the side and we are gonna add a UI corner and a UI stroke just to make it look nice and as usual you know the rules change the UI stroke to border change it to 4 or whatever you want well, actually the other one looks like it's 5 and then you can change the text whatever you want so I'm gonna change the text to teleport and then change the font to Fredoka 1 which is what we're currently using. Uh, text scaled on, and there we go, we have our little button, but I'm also gonna change the color of it. There we go. Now we have our own teleport button. I'm actually gonna... <laughs> okay, that looks really bad, but anyway, you know what I mean, it's a teleport button. Uh, I put TP for short for teleport. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna rename this to teleport, and then I'm gonna, um, Put a local script inside of it for later and then uh i'm actually going to rename this local script to open teleport and then you're going to make inside of your screen gui a frame and you're going to call this frame um uh teleport frame or whatever you want i'm going to place it in the middle of the game or just like you see these green little lines you want to place it in the middle I'm gonna make it a bit bigger uh, there we go I'm now going to set the UI corner and the UI stroke set the stroke to I think if you want to do a menu I think I'll do six and then I'll change the color of the inside of the menu to like a dark yeah it looks quite nice uh, we can do that um, and then inside of here we're going to add a text button we're going to stretch uh, this here we're going to make it a bit bigger like that and you're going to add a UI corner and a UI stroke inside of it set the stroke to border and then change the thickness to 4 or 5 uh, 5 seems nice change the uh, background colour to the same colour but I recommend making it darker like that or maybe it maybe a bit lighter that seems a bit too dark right there we go um, and then scroll down this menu and should see the text change the text to whatever you want like for the sake of this I'm gonna put teleport one change text scale to true and then the font uh, change to whatever font you want so now we have our own little button but just to uh, make this look a bit better we can add a text label and we can put this text label in the top middle so up here we can put it there and we can uh, set the background you know what? no uh, there's a better way of doing this we can do that no we can do this and then we can scroll down change the text to teleport text scale to true and then Fredoka one and then we can also add a UI corner and a UI stroke to this and you know how to do this straight to there there we go now it, now it looks quite nice uh, but I think I might change the text here to something else um, yeah I'm gonna just do one okay but now we have our own little menu um, now that we've got this we can make our teleport button actually do something so um, inside of the local script open teleport we're gonna put in script dot parent dot mouse button one click uh, but by the way this script will be in the description so uh, you could just copy it from there but anyway mouse button click connect and then function and then bracket they go down and game dot players dot local player dot player gui dot teleport no dot screen gui dot teleport frame dot visible equals true 
and then you're just gonna go back and there we go we uh we've done everything but we just need to add a close button now so uh i'm gonna rename this to teleport i'm gonna change the uh we're gonna add a text button and then maybe you know maybe we can like sl like slim this a bit uh to make space for a um for a button so we can put this here i'm going to change the color to um that uh Actually no, red. Red red is the way to go. We want a red button, right? Um so honestly you guys can do whatever you want to this menu. You can place this close button wherever you want. I'm gonna rename it to close button. And then you can change the text to close. And then te text scale to true. And then Fridoka one. And then you need to add a UI corner and a UI stroke, you know, how you do it. Uh, UI straight to border thickness to 6 and there we go we just need to add a local script inside of our close button and set and do uh, script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function and then game dot players dot local player dot player GUI dot screen GUI dot teleport frame dot visible equals uh, false and there we go we have our little uh, open and close menu and now we need to make the actual buttons do something so I am going to um, go inside of the teleport one button uh, but before we do that we actually need to uh, m make everything non-visible and we're gonna actually spawn in a part right we're gonna spawn in a little part we're gonna make this maybe a bit bigger like this yeah we're gonna make it the same size as this base plate you can set it to whatever size you want uh, but I think that looks good uh, you can now move this up into the air and change the transparency to one and the can collide to nothing and yeah just that's it now we have our um, invisible part you're going to rename this part to teleport one oh no no that that will cause conflicting conflict conflicts just in case i'm going to call it teleport one uh map i guess i don't know uh, you can call it that and then we're going to go inside of our teleport one script i'm going to make this visible again <laughs> you're going to go inside of the teleport one you're going to create a local script and inside of here, this is quite long, but you guys can just uh, copy this in the description uh, in a paste bin. And yeah, so you're going to do wait one second and then player uh, equals oh, player equals game dot players dot local player and then button equals script dot parent. And then there we go. Yep. And then local local debounce equals false and then go down and then function teleport uh, brackets and then if not debounce uh, then debounce equals true and then lower torso equals player dot character dot uh, lower torso and then lower torso dot c frame remember the capital f there c frame equals game dot workspace dot um what did we call it we called it teleport one yeah teleport one map dot c frame and then we can go out of this little like uh, bit here and then do button dot mouse button one click connect function and then inside of here you can do teleport 
Oh no, whoopsies, don't, don't do function, just do connect and then teleport. And you can go down and do while true do wait brackets uh, debounce um, equals false. And then wait one second. So that should be it for this entire script. Ignore that, that is not an error. Uh, you can now close that. Uh, yeah, so I forgot you need to um, anchor um, the teleport one map before you actually go in. Okay, uh, now that we're in the game, if we open up this and then click that, it should just teleport us. So, um, if we go over here, right, uh, the teleport one map is there. We go into our TP menu and we teleport. Just like that, we now have our own teleport. Um, you guys can add more of these if you want, just by following the same, um, the same steps. Just do it all again, but just add a second button. Um, or you can just uh, uh, subscribe to my Patreon. It's only $1. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So, see you later. Bye.